Hey, YouTube and Sendar here. This video will be a little different from normal. This is a heavily requested video, especially over the last couple months. Uh, today we'll cover how to get started in one minute or less on cryptocurrency mining on your PC. Obviously with BDO, um, this game pays to leave it running 24 hours a day so your workers keep running and whatnot. And I've always said, you know, keep your computer running 24 hours a day. It'll hugely benefit you. And the concern came up a lot of times, you know, it's costing electricity. It's better for me to turn it off. And, I've, you know, I've said you could try um, crypto mining to at least uh, monetize your PC if it's running 24 hours a day. Anyway, um, I had a lot of trouble trying to make this video, so I'm probably going to do three different videos. This one today will just be how to get up and running in one minute or less um, for pretty much the audience of um, if you're a total noob and don't understand any of this stuff. And uh, um, leave comments, and I'll try to piece together something maybe intermediate and then advanced. But let's get right to it, and I'll uh, add some commentary here at the end. But let's uh, get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is in the description, the first link will be to Minergate, which is the site and pool we'll be using. Um, you just want to go to this website, uh, quickly make an account. It really doesn't take long, just need an email password. Um, then click on the download section. And at this point, it should show what OS you're currently at. It has uh, different versions for each one. Um, so download that, install it, just use all the default stuff. Um, after it's installed, you can actually run the program. And at that time, you'll come up or see something like this under the mining tab. Um, <clears throat> once this is up and running, you can actually uh, uh, this will ask you for your email, of course, when you first start it up, just to make sure it's linked to your account. At that point, just all you have to do is click the start button here. This will be the first column is CPU mining, um, and you pick the cores. I'm on an eight core PC right now. I'm just putting this on two because I'm actually recording right now, and I really don't want to uh, screw up this record. Uh, you can also use your GPU mining. Um, this, uh, on the low intensity, which is a setting you see here, on some graphics cards, this won't um, be noticeable at all when you're playing the game. Um, some people might see like a horrible uh, FPS drop or lag. All you do is just stop it. Now, if you're going to leave the PC on um, overnight or whatever, you know, you could bump this up, maybe increase the intensity. And you'll notice um, you can see what hash rate you're getting here. And that just means uh, you're mining and how fast your computer is doing the calculations to... Um, know how much uh, cryptocurrency to give you in the pool. So this program, you actually, once you get started here, and uh, one thing to mention here, over here, you'll notice a merge mining coin. Um, you'll just get other coins while you're mining this main one. I've chosen XMR, which is Monero. Um, over here, this is just personal preference. These are usually just coins you'll get for free on the side and can just, uh, just liquidate as soon as you get them, or you can just leave them off. So anyway, now that I know that everything's running, since I'm going to be playing the game, I'm going to turn off GPU here quick. Okay, so now I've minimized the actual miner program and returned back to uh, where we were in the download. At this point, you can actually go into dashboard. And this will actually, these should turn green as long as you're mining. Um, this will keep track. This is really the only thing you need to keep track of. You can even like bookmark this on your phone or mobile or whatever to keep track of it. Um, this page will just show everything that's going on with your miners. As you can see, I have three active miners. I'm doing this uh, for the video. This is three different PCs. You can actually install this on multiple PCs as well. I believe there's also an app that can mine, but I don't think that's the greatest at this point. I haven't tested that out though, so I can't really comment. But you can see it's giving me my hash rate, how many active workers I have how many Moneros I got. And of course, as I mentioned earlier with the merge mining, um, these digital notes I'm getting just extra here, not very much, um, okay, $1.50 or something. I'm, you know, these links too will go to exchanges where you can just sell these. Um, I don't know much about the merge coins or, you know, which ones are better than others. That's a personal choice. I'm just gonna uh, dump those. Anyway, I started this about two weeks ago um, just running uh, CPU mining casually. And uh, the price, I think, when I started was like 200 and it's gone to like 350 So that explains uh, what's gone on here. 
and I'm just gonna let this run and I'll probably do an update on YouTube maybe in a couple months and we'll see how this all works out um, a couple let me give you a couple tools that can help you get started here too you'll notice this is my current hash rate um, you can go well, well here's one site that uh, is really good I'll put links to this in the description as well uh, coinmarketcap.com it shows um, I believe there's over 1800 different cryptocurrencies so I'm you know I'm not gonna pick favorites here or anything um, I will speak today a little about uh, Ethereum and XMR though which is Monero which have both uh, been pretty good to me um, but this will give you the market cap the current price the volume so you can know the liquidity uh, total supply you can see Monero is up 5% today and if you look at this chart you can actually click the chart and I believe I want to say I started this two weeks ago it was a lot cheaper you can see you know 160 320 these are super highly volatile items by the way uh, if you don't know <laughs> um the next site i want to show you and i'm going to link all these in the description is what to mine.com and what this will do is you can just figure out um how much your pc will make in a day pretty simply uh for hash rate i'm just typing in uh all right so we're gonna say 750 hashes per second uh make sure the crypto night is blue then i click calculate and then here at the bottom, I can see um, the different coins and then Monero it this at the current hash rate and price as of right now. And this changes uh, incredibly by large amounts all day long since the price of the actual cryptocurrency changes. But it'll say uh, two dollars and thirty three cents per day, uh, leaving that mine. Now, here's the interesting thing, and I'll share my little story of this year um, early in the year. Uh, uh, really early in the year um I, I was taking bitcoin donations and somebody in the in a stream mentioned you know why aren't you mining ethereum and i said well you know i didn't it was only two dollars a day or whatever and it didn't really seem worth it to run my pc and he was like you should do it anyway so i did it kind of casually um over this entire year um not really uh going into hardcore leaving you know at mine 24 hours a day because it was only two dollars a day well um Lo and behold, you know, now we're looking, you know, back then, uh, this is uh, back in the beginning of the year, we're talking uh, this Ethereum was $7 uh, a piece, right? So yeah, it was uh, $2 a day. Uh, but then, um, and this is of today, uh, December 18th, 2017. Um, now the price is, you know, $800. So when it was $2 per day, you know, back here at seven, that, you know, Looking back now, it's a hundred times that. So that was really two hundred dollars a day. Um, I don't know if this will ever repeat itself. I, I think I just got really lucky here. Like I said, I did. I just did this casually. I didn't really notice anything until I looked at the balance um, about a month ago, and I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" That this went up, uh, you know, ten thousand percent in price in that time frame. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, right place at the right time. You know, if, looking back, if I if I would have mined the entire year. Um, well, let's just say retirement, right? But you can see how these things are so volatile, and I don't know if this will happen again. But if if you're looking at the what to mine, or um, you know, in your Monero dashboard, and you see, you know, you have like you know, two dollars a day, or maybe sixty dollars. If the price goes up ten, then it's like six hundred. So it's just something, you know. The whole thing here, I think, you know, from at least the perspective I'm coming from, is I'm just doing this casually and screwing around, and you probably will too, or at least try this out. But I mean, there's a small chance, you know, you'll get the money back for whatever electricity. Um, you know, I don't think there's too much crazy risk involved here just running this. Um, and then the off chance, you know, one of these coins like blows up, you know, 10, 20,000 percent. Then, you know, um, you won't be looking back and kicking yourself for not doing it. Another thing is uh, I just want to briefly touch upon uh, counterparty risk. Uh, these exchanges and pools uh, have lots of uh, cryptocurrencies and lots of uh, money. So they are the target of hackers. Um, there was another mining thing I was trying to look at when I was making this video called Nice Hash, which apparently got hacked and lost everything. So, you know, this site, uh, MinerGate has two factor authorization and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I do suggest using that obviously to protect your stuff. You know, if you only have like five bucks in here, not really a big deal. If this amount gets to something where you, you would be upset losing, you know, it might be a good idea to uh, take it off and convert it or whatever. But um, I'll get into that in future videos. I hope this helps you out, though. And uh, 
I don't, you know, this for me, it worked out extremely well this year, just running it casually. Uh, looking back, I probably should have just had it running the entire year. Would have done a lot better. Um, but what can you do? Hope this helps you out and I will have more content in the future. Everybody have a great Christmas.